CES 2023 is the closest the show has been to quote unquote normal since 2020, but this year's tech has been nothing short of extraordinary. From talking cars to translating glasses, here's the coolest stuff from the show. Will wireless TVs be the next big thing? Only time will tell, but they've certainly been popular on the show floor. We saw a whopping 97-inch wireless OLED TV from LG. So how exactly does it work? Well, to put it simply, it streams a signal from a box, which is also where you'd connect any devices. The box does have to be within 30 feet of the screen, and the TV's not truly wireless. It has a single power cord. I know, kind of disappointing, but LG did come up with a clever way of hiding it in the stand. The box can send a 4K signal at 120 Hz. However, for you gamers out there, we don't know much about input lag at this time. LG says the TV will arrive sometime in 2023 with pricing TBD, but the standard wired version of this model costs $25,000, so we know the wireless one won't be cheap. Now, if you're looking for a truly wireless OLED TV, we also saw a 55-inch model from a brand called Displace. It's powered by four hot swappable batteries that should give it about a day of use. It has a suction pump system that can attach to apparently nearly any surface. And like the LG model, it also streams from a box that you can connect devices to. It may not cost as much as LG's version, but it's still pricey. The company says it'll start at $3,000. Next, what's CES without a cool concept car? Meet BMW's iVision D EV. This car's got lots of personality, literally. The entire virtual world right at your fingertips. Dee's e-ink grill animates to give her eyes, and she talks to you. She may be saucier than other digital assistants, but she really is happy to help. She'll study your driving and make useful suggestions. This makes sense since D stands for Digital Emotional Experience. Dee's exterior is made of 240 color-changing e-ink panels. And while her windshield may look bare, it's actually an AR display with five immersion levels for the driver. The AR in levels one through four gives useful info like speed and navigation details, but won't block the driver's view of the road. And level five is made for autonomous driving because it would definitely block the driver's view of the road. The virtual world consumes the windshield so you can do things like look at digital environments or take a conference call instead of staring at traffic. We've seen devices that can flip. We've seen devices that can fold. But what about a device that can slide? And no, not like the sidekick from the early 2000s. Let me explain. This is Samsung's Flex Hybrid concept. The screen not only unfolds, but slides to go from a 10.5 to 12.4 inch screen, AKA the size of a tablet. I like how this concept imagines what foldable phones and tablets could look like as the line between them continues to blur. After all, phones just keep getting bigger and tablets just keep getting smaller. This next appliance moves the party into the kitchen. It's the LG Mood Up Refrigerator. It has a built-in Bluetooth speaker that can sync up with customizable color-changing LED backlit panels. Necessary? Definitely not. Fun? Sure. This appliance has some more practical features too, which are the ones I'm most interested in. For example, if you leave the door open for too long, the panel will alert you. And the upper right panel can become transparent so you can view your groceries without letting cold air out. You can also set a sensor so the fridge glows at night. As an avid late night snacker, I really appreciate this feature. A cost for this fridge hasn't been made available, but it will probably have a hefty price tag. Another trend on the show floor was mixed reality devices. HTC's Vive XR Elite is a headset that aims to bridge the gap between VR and AR, blending the real world with the virtual. We're not seeing that perfect blend yet. It kind of just intersperses real world elements with the VR experience. But its depth sensor makes it capable of eventually giving us true mixed reality. So it'll be interesting to see how this product develops. Cena editor Scott Stein says it's relatively light and quote, almost feels like a pair of glasses. It'll be available in February at $1,099. I also enjoyed learning about TCL's Ray Neo X2 AR concept glasses. They're relatively stylish for AR glasses and have full color micro LED screens. But my favorite part is that TCL says they can do real time language translation. How cool is that? And finally, what would CES be without laptops? This year we saw how laptops can get creative with their screen real estate. For instance, remember when 3D viewing required glasses? Asus is helping to make that a thing of the past. 
one of their upcoming ProArt laptops will have the first OLED screen capable of showing 3D images without having to use glasses. The display works in tandem with stereo eye tracking cameras that ensure what's on screen moves with your eyes. Pretty neat. And meet Lenovo's YogaBook 9i, which has two screens with lots of configuration flexibility. You can stack them vertically or side by side. The yoga in the name is starting to make sense, right? This shape-shifting laptop also comes with a foldable stand and active pen. Those were some of the standout products from CES 2023. For more cool tech and top picks from the show, subscribe to CNET.